Welcome to the lecture of Embedded C program to interface 4x4 matrix keyboard with PIC 18X microcontroller. To know about the basic of interfacing of 4x4 matrix keyboard with microcontroller, watch the video of 4x4 matrix keyboard interfacing with 8051 microcontroller where the basic uh, of this interfacing is explained and also the flow chart uh, is explained. The link of that video is given in description box or you can click this card. So here uh, I'll go through briefly about the interfacing of 4x4 matrix keyboard with microcontroller. So th these are the keys uh, which we want to interface with microcontroller. So these keys are arranged in matrix form. These are the rows of keyboard and these are the columns of keyboards. And the key numbers you can give as per your application. So here numbers are assigned as 0, 1, 2, 3 to C, D, E, F. So it is a hex keypad. So to interface this keyboard, we need a four uh, port terminals, which we are using as an output port terminal and four other port terminals which we have to use as an input port terminal. This output port terminals are called as a rows of keyboard and input port terminals are called as a columns of a keyboard. Initially, these all columns and rows are connected to VCC. The port terminals, these output port terminals are initially at logic 1. So when uh, no key is pressed by the user, will read here data on column as 1111 to check whether key is pressed by the user or not and which key is pressed by user or uses first send logic 0 on one row of this keyboard so suppose d0 is 0 and all other rows will be at logic 1 after sending this data we'll check the data on this column since this row is 0 and all other rows are at 1, if key of this D0 row is pressed by user, for example, this two number key is pressed by the user, then this rows and row and column will be shorted and will read here 0. All other uh, bits will be at logic 1. So, by sending 0 on this row, uh, the data on column is other than 1, 1, 1, 1. 1 in this case it is 1011 it indicates that key of this row is pressed by the user after knowing that key of this row is pressed by the user we can check which key is pressed by the user if no key of this row is pressed by the user the next time what we'll do we'll send here logic 1 and we'll send logic 0 on next row then again logic 1 for other two rows. Now we'll again check the data of this column. If data on column is other than 1111, then it indicates that the key of this row is pressed by the user. And then we'll check which key is pressed by the user. For that also we have to apply logic. If no key of this row is pressed by the user, next time send a logic 0 on next row. Check again whether key of this row is pressed by user or not. If no key is pressed, then next time, here it will be 1. Next time, send a logic 0 on last key. We can repeat these steps to check whether key is pressed by the user or not. And if key is pressed by the user of that particular row, then which key is pressed by the user. So this logic is also explained in interfacing of 4x4 matrix keyboard uh, with 8051 microcontroller. This is the interfacing diagram for which we are going to write program, embedded C program. So this is the matrix keyboard and these are the values assigned to this key. Uh, row 1, row 0, row 1, uh, row 2 and uh, row uh, 3. So this key number start from 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then 0. So we need a four 
port terminals which we are using as a rows that means output so here rd0 rd1 rd2 and rd3 these four terminals are used as a row so they will act as the output port terminal the other four terminals of same port d port rd4 rd5 rd6 rd7 are used as a columns of keyboard so these ports are used as a input we are going to read a data from column so this is used in this interfacing diagram the key pressed by the user that number key number we can display on lcd so here 16 by 2 lcd is interface uh, the lcd interfacing functions and uh, logic is explained in a, a video uh, that is lcd interfacing with pic microcontroller so to know more about this lcd interfacing and how to write the functions you can watch that video link of this video is also given in description box and uh, or you can click this card to watch that video so same interfacing uh, terminals or ports are used here also this uh, rs register select terminal is con connected to rc1 terminal uh, r slash w bar is permanently connected to ground so that is zero Uh, then enable terminal is connected to rc0 uh, and the data lines of this lcd are connected to port b that is rb0 to rb7 so in this video i am not going to explain more about lcd interfacing but the functions which uh, i have already discussed in lcd program same functions we are going to uh, call in this uh, keyboard interfacing program so watch that video to understand about this function so here we are going to write embedded c program using this interfacing diagram so already used or written lcd functions we are going to use here so we'll write all these lcd interfacing function in lcd.h file that is header file and we include this header file in our program so in lcd.header file the functions will be written as send command that is to write a command in command register so to this function we are going to pass the parameter command so whatever command we want to write in lcd command register that will pass to this function lcd command function uh, then lcd data function here this function is used to write a data that is ascii value of character which we want to display on lcd to this function so lcd data is a variable which are which we are going to pass to this function so this functions are already explain how to write uh, uh, while explaining lcd interfacing so we will write a program uh, to display a key pressed by the user on lcd so in embedded c program first we have to include this pic uh, header file so depends upon which pic microcontroller you are using you can include a header file here then lcd functions we are going to use in this program which are written in lcd.h file so that file also will include here key numbers uh, we are going to store uh, in array so here unsigned character key lookup this table this name is given to this array and this array we are declaring here so as per the numbers you want to assign to keys you can uh, store in this lookup table so first key is with number 1 then next is 2 3 4 like that this keys are stored in this lookup table so in one row we are having four keys so it is written like this we'll use a pointer to point to the keys of this lookup table so we have stored here uh, values of keys then uh, on lcd first on first row of lcd here we are going to display a string that is press key so press key a string will be displayed here on first row and the key pressed by user will be displayed on second row here you will get a press key string 
So for that, the string is stored in this uh, array. That is unsigned character. S name is given to the string and that is stored in array. So here we will write a for loop. Uh, that is to generate a delay, small delay. Then main program is written here. The few variables we want to use in our program. So these variables are declared here like J, key, D and P. So you can give any name to variable. Now first here on port D where uh, these keys are connected. Uh, first logic 1 is given to each port pin. So that's why on port D FFH is transmitted. Now after that we will decide the direction of port pin. So four pins of port D we are using as a output and other four pins we are using as a input. So lower four pins we are using as a output. So in trace D register we are storing zero for that. And the upper four bits we are using as a input. So for that we are sending logic one. So it will decide direction of port D. Then uh, to initialize LCD, we are uh, always sending a three command. So same, same commands will send here to LCD. So the command is stored in variable P. The first is 38H. So we are selecting 16 by 2, 5 by 7 matrix LCD display. So for that command is 0x38. And this command we are sending to this function which is written in header 5. So 38H we are sending to this function which will write this command in command register that is for LCD initialization. The second command is 0EH and that will again send to this function. So that command will be also written. Then to clear display next command will use is 01. And that command is also uh, will send to the send command function. So we are initializing LCD by sending this commands. Then we'll write a program in while one loop. First, we'll display a string on first row of LCD, and that will be displayed from first character position. So we know that address of this character is ATH. So first we'll send ATH to this command function. That means cursor will now point to this position. And then we'll display string on first row of LCD. So for that we'll use this for loop. So this for loop count depends upon the number of variables available in string. In string nine variables are available. So we'll read a one character at a time. We'll store that value of that character in variable D. D later is used here to indicate a data. We are writing data in data register. S is the string and pointer to string is zero. So S of zero means it will read a zeroth character from first string. And that character's ASCII value is stored in variable D that we want to send here, display here. So we'll call a function send data. So we'll give this variable ASCII value to this data function. So first character will be displayed here. The J is incremented. So next time we'll read ASCII value of second character and that is given to this data function. So uh, after execution of this particular for loop, the press key that string will be displayed on first row of this LCD. Now we have displayed a string for string on row um, 1. Now we want to display a key pressed by user on row 2. So for that uh, we will first uh, check the address of first character of second row that is C0H. So here we will display a key pressed by user. So address of this will store in a variable P, capital P, and will send this to command function. So that now pointer or cursor will point to this position. Now here we will call a one function. The name here given is read key function. So this function will read which key is pressed by the user. 
and that function will return ascii value of key pressed by the user and that ascii value is assigned to variable key so we will discuss about this function but this function will get a key pressed by the user and that ascii value is assigned here to variable key so once we get the ascii value we will send this ascii value to data function send data function of lcd so ascii value of this key pressed by the user we are sending to this function so this function will display key pressed by the user at this position we will call a delay and we will repeat this program continuously now main thing is how to detect which key is pressed by the user that logic will use in uh, read key function so this function is declared here unsigned character read key it is going to return a character and here void so here few variables are declared if we want we can use this variable now again it is written in while one so port d again logic one is given to all terminals of port d now if you remember there are four rows and four columns of this keyboard to check uh, we are scanning this keyboard so to check whether key of row 0 is pressed by user or not we have to send logic 0 here and all other rows will be at logic 1 and we are going to read a column data if uh, key of this is not pressed then we will send a logic 0 on next row if key of this row is not pressed we are going to send logic 0 on next row if no key is pressed of this row we are sending logic 0 on this to send a logic 0 one time at one row here this for loop is used so just go through the logic here i is initialized with hex value 0 x 0 1 and that is written here we are sending a data on row so we are interested only in this four bits this four pins are used as a rows of keyboard so at a time we want to send a logic 0 on one row so i is varied from 0001 to 10 and it is shifted in left direction by one bit so this is the initial value of i and on port d we are sending the complement of this i so complement of i is like this we are interested only in four bits so we are sending logic 0 on rd0 so to send a logic 0 on rd0 first this data is stored in i and then i is complemented and will get this data after that this is for making logic 0 on first row we'll see how to read a column data but here just try to understand how we are sending logic 0 on one row at a time so this is the initial value of i and we are shifting i by one bit in left direction to make a next row zero next time so just go through this data if we shift i in left direction by one bit we'll get this type of data after shifting it left direction by one bit and we are complementing it and sending on port d so we are making the next row zero and all other terminals are at logic 1 similarly next time suppose key of this row is not pressed by the user we have to send zero on rd2 so we are again shifting i uh, in left direction by one bit and we are complementing it so after shifting i in one direction left direction by one bit we'll get this data in i and we are complementing it so this data we are sending on port d so if key of this row is not pressed by user we have to send logic 0 on rd3 so for that again we will shift i one bit in left direction so we'll get this data we are complementing it so we are now sending this data on port so this is how uh, by shifting this i in left direction by one bit uh, we can make a one row zero at a time so we'll send zero here first if key is not pressed send zero here 
if key is not pressed send 0 here if key is not pressed then send 0 here so like that we can do after sending uh, the data on we'll read a column data so for that this instruction is used a uh, small delay is called and then we are reading a data from the columns of port d and this data is stored in variable con so we are reading the data from column after sending logic 0 on one row and that data is stored in col variable now we want to check which key is pressed by the user whether the uh, first key is pressed by the user second key third key or fourth key so now we are interested in this column data higher four bit so what logic we are using here we are using our variable j the j value is initialized with 0 x 1 0 that is 1 0 h we are shifting this j in left direction by one bit Till it becomes or less than 0x80. Suppose this is a data uh, we read from the column and this is the first value of j that is 0x10. So 1 and 0. So this is the value of j. We are ending this column data which we are reading from port D with this j value. So what we'll get, all other bits will be 0, but RD4, that is key 0 bit, will remain as it is. So we are going to check whether this key is pressed, whether this key is pressed, this is pressed or this is pressed. So if this key is pressed by the user, here we'll get a 0. If key is not pressed by the user, here we'll get a 1. So if this key first key is pressed by the user then this whole data will be 0 0 h because this will be also 0 but if this key is not pressed by the user then we will get a data other than 0 0 h so what we are doing here we are ending this column data that is we are reading from column with j first we are checking for this column ending it with j if it is equal to 0 that means key is pressed by the user now if it is confirmed that key is pressed by the user we have to check which key is pressed by the user so for that we are using this variable key variable as a pointer initially it is initialized with value 0 that we can check this key variable is initialized with value 0. So, the first time uh, we are doing this, so key is 0 and this key we are using to pointer to lookup table. So, now it is pointing to 0th key. In our case, it is the 1 key with value 1, number 1. So, this uh, ASCII value of this uh, key will read from lookup table and that will be stored in variable VAL and will return VAL variable to our main program where we are displaying it on LCD. Now suppose this key is not pressed by the user. A key related to this column is not pressed by the user. So next time what we'll do? Here we'll increment the pointer. So key should be point to next element in the lookup table and what we'll do, we are shifting this j by one bit in the left direction and we are repeating the same process. So what will happen when we'll shift the j uh, in left direction, now we are checking this key. So we are ending column data with this value. We are checking this key. We'll check a result, rd5 will remain as it is, all other bits will be zero. So, if key of this column is pressed by the user, you will get a 0 H. If key is not pressed, then we will increment a pointer. Pointer is incremented here, so it will point to the next key. That is key is 1, so it will point to the next key of lookup table. So, if not, if key of this is not pressed by the user, we will again shift J. Four times we have to shift J in left direction. So, we'll shift the j in left direction. So, you'll get this data in j 
column data will end with it and rd6 will remain as it is if it is zero and operation result is zero key is placed by the user pointer is already incremented will read that key value stored in value variable otherwise we will shift again j and this four times we are going to do this so this is how we are scanning and detecting a key